start with the route grouping. I'll do this by creating a new routes file here, which I'll name user.js. And I will take all my user related routes here. So all the new routes I entered and get them into this file. Of course, I will also copy the code at the top here because I will need the express router and so on passport CSRF. I will get rid of passport in the index.js file then. I'll copy the CSRF protection over to my user file here. Can get rid of it here in the index file then. And now I will get rid of all the user prefixes. And I will of course export this router. So I'm copying this code here too at the bottom. And then in the app.js file, what I'll do is I'll add a new import here routes. I'll name it user routes, require routes user. And down here, I'll check if the prefix is slash user. In this case, I will redirect to user routes. Any other path, not beginning with slash user, will still be sent to the index.js file. Therefore, the ordering here is important because if I would have this middleware first, all my requests would be sent to the index.js file and would not reach the user.js file. So I want this ordering here. So now that's grouping by the prefix. If I restart my server, we should still have a working route here. And I should still be able to get to the index page. Cool. And the next thing is I want to protect some routes so that I can only access them if I am logged in. To do this, I will go to my user chess file in the routes folder. And I will add a new function at the bottom of this file, the is logged in function, which takes a request, a response, and this next object. So this will be a middleware, my own middleware I write. And I will check if request is authenticated, resolves to true. This is authenticated is a method added by Passport and Passport manages the authentication state in the session automatically. So when I successfully log in, it will set it to true and so on. So with this, I can then return next, which means continue. And otherwise I will say redirect to, let's say the starting page. Now I can use this middleware for all the routes I want to protect. For example, or the only route currently I want to protect is the profile route. So I will add is logged in here and I'll just reorder this to have sign up and sign in at the top. Doesn't really matter here, but with that I'm making sure, and I have to use the parentheses here though, should only be a reference to the function. I don't want to execute it. So with that I'm making sure that I check if the user is logged in before allowing them to access the login page. Now in order to demonstrate this, I'll also add the logout functionality so that we can switch between both states. I'll add this new route here, router get slash logout. And this will be my normal um, middleware, my normal function here. And in here, what I will do is I will call request logout, also a method added by Passport, of course. And then I will redirect to the front page, let's say. And with this, I'm able to, well, log out. So if I restart this, let's see this in action. I will go to user slash profile and I'm redirected to the start page because I'm not logged in. If I do, well, login is wrong, go to sign in and I do sign in, I am able to access user profile. So this is working. Now I also want to implement the opposite case. So a middleware that makes sure that only unauthenticated users are able to reach certain routes. So I will name this not logged in and basically re reverse the logic, check if I'm not authenticated. And I will add not logged in to the other routes where I want to make sure that the user is not logged in. Now I can make this very easy by simply adding router use, which will 
or post to get and post target all requests, no matter what the verb is. So all requests, and I also don't care about the path, should be checked with this not locked in. And then request response next. I will execute next here. And I will place this in front of all the routes where I want to check if they are not locked in. Therefore, the routes where I do want to make sure the user is locked in, basically the profile route, has to come in front of this one. So let's see if this works the way it should work. I'll going to end the server and restart it. Go to profile, I'm redirected back, user sign in, still works. If I log in, I get to user profile and if I try to access user sign in, I'm redirected back to the starting page. So this now works too and I have two middlewares in place and I'm kind of grouping by middleware by having this filter in front of all the other routes which I want to check for the user not being logged in. So a lot has been achieved. The user is able to sign up, to sign in, we're protecting routes and we are able to log out. What still is not that nice is that this drop down here is totally irrelevant. The links don't work and they don't adjust to the current login state. So let's do something about that. In order to do something about that, I will go back to my application and in the app.js file, right before I, well, send a request to any routes, I'll add a new middleware. So this will be a middleware executed on all requests. And what I do here is I'll execute a function, request response next, so this default express middleware setup. And I want to, uh, to, to set a global property or variable, which I will have available in my views. And I can do this using the locals object on my response. And then I will name it login. So this login name is totally up to you. And I will set this equal to request is authenticated. So this will basically be true or false. And with that, I have this login variable available in all my views. And I want this behavior because that is something I need to have available in all my views. And then I execute next to let the request continue. So I'm basically setting this global variable here. And then in my view, in the header, I want to style the navigation bar appropriately, or especially this user dropdown, this, um, this user management here, user management, here it is. So basically what I want here is inside this unordered list, I'll add a handlebars if statement, and I will check if login, this is the global variable I just set up, which is true or false. If it is true, then I want to, so if the user is logged in, then I want to show the user account or the logout button. If it is false, so I'll add an else case here, then I will show sign up or sign in. And I'll get rid of the separator and the logout link. This, if I restart the server and go to my application and I click here, you now see sign up or sign in. So let's go to sign up. Oh, that works. That doesn't work. So in order to make this work, I should probably add some links here. So the user account is user profile. The logout page is user logout. Sign up is user sign up. And sign in is of course user sign in. So with this, next try it if I reload, go to sign up, this now works and I'll enter a new email address which shouldn't be in the, in the database. So I'm redirected to user profile and you see this updated. I can go to the user profile, I can go back to the home page if I adjust this and give this brand a link of just slash. So let's try this again. Home page, profile, logout, redirected. And I still see the user account. I still can go there. So the logout is not working. What's wrong here? User 
log out. I have made a mistake here. This log out route should of course not be available to logged in users, but the opposite is the case. It should only be available if you are logged in. And of course you could group this again here with um, a middleware like this one here, but I'll keep it like that. So if I now restart the server and I reload this page and I try this again, sign in, sign in, log out. Yeah, this looks much better. So now the header is updated. This error has been fixed and we got a working sign up and sign in process going on. We got validation in place and I think these are, well, very important first steps in order to continue with this application. See you in the next videos. Bye.